Hi. Now, in an earlier tutorial, I showed you this result here, that if we had two complex numbers, say Z1 and Z2, given by Z1 equals R1 multiplied by cos theta1 plus I sine theta1, and a similar result for Z2, then the product of Z1 and Z2 was equal to R1 times R2, all multiplied by the cosine of theta1 plus theta2 plus I sine theta1 plus theta2. What happened was that we multiplied together the individual modulus for each of the complex numbers and we added together the argument for each of the two complex numbers. Now we can take this result and extend it. I'll show you. If we have a complex number z then in general which is equal to r multiplied by the cosine of theta plus i sine theta then if we were to square this let's just say then z squared well z squared would be equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta and we would multiply that again with r cos theta plus i sine theta. And by the result up here, then this must be equal to r times r, r squared. And then all we need to do now is just add the arguments together. So we get the cos of theta plus theta, cos of 2 theta and when it comes to the sine it's going to be i sine 2 theta. Now what happens if we extend it again and we look at z cubed okay if we were to look at z cubed think of this then as z squared times z. Well we've already got z squared z squared was r squared multiplied by cos 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta. And if we multiply this result with z, z being r cos theta plus i sine theta, then what are we going to get? Well, by the rule up here again, we've got r squared times r, that's going to be r cubed. And then we just simply add the two arguments together. So we get the cosine of 2 theta plus theta. In other words, 3 theta. And the same with the sine. We've got I sine of 2 theta plus theta, which is 3 theta. Now if we were to work out z to the power 4, it would be z cubed times another z. And by following a similar pattern to this, it turns out that z to the power 4 is equal to r to the power 4 cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. So what this leads on to is this general result known as de Marva's theorem. De Marva's theorem states that if z equals r all multiplied by cos theta plus i sine theta, then z to the power n equals r to the power n all multiplied by cos n theta plus i sine n theta. But what he goes on to demonstrate is it's not just true for all positive integers like I've given you in these examples here, but in fact it's true for all n where n is any real number. Now this is a very important theorem and it has many applications and in later tutorials what I'll do is I'll give you examples of these applications. And the best place to see all of this is on my website examsolutions.net. Okay so uh, I hope that's given you a brief introduction to this theorem. Certainly do learn it. Okay so uh, I hope that's been of some use to you so far.